Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Nvidia is officially goofed. Intel's ARC GPUs are having issues, but I have good news. Intel's new CPU is expensive and power hungry, and the best news in over a year. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, when Nvidia originally announced their RTX 3090 Ti back at CES, they promised to talk more about it later in the month. Well, January came and went, yet we haven't heard a peep out of Nvidia since, so The Verge decided to reach out to find out what's going on, and their answer is a bit concerning. The Nvidia spokesperson said, quote, We don't currently have more info to share on the RTX 3090 Ti, but we'll be in touch when we do. So yeah, they aren't saying anything, but as usual, the silence actually tells us quite a bit. Something is clearly wrong. Luckily, the leaker Momomo underscore US found a listing of the part on a Danish retailer that claims an ETA of March 1st. And of course, that's not far off, but given Nvidia still won't say a word on it, that could just be a guess. Or it could just be the last thing Nvidia told them, but things have since changed. Either way, Nvidia is clearly having issues with their upcoming flagship GPU. But first, you've got to check out the best place to build your gaming PC with this video's sponsor. Micro Center, a literal paradise for PC gamers. I'm talking rows of motherboards, cases, storage, even water cooling. And they actually have physical stores so you can see the parts in person. It's where I purchased my first ever build. And today you've got to check out their custom PC builder, the tool that ensures all your parts are compatible and work together so you know everything's right. Not only that, but if you find stock at the nearest Micro Center, you can pick them up in store the same day. Plus, for a fee, you can have a Micro Center expert build it for you and pick it up the same day. You can't beat that. To top it all off, today I've partnered with Micro Center to bring you $50 off your purchase of select CPUs for new customers. So check out that coupon in the description below. Next up for today, we have a pretty huge story on Intel's upcoming desktop ARC GPUs. In my last video, I discussed a story from Moore's Law is Dead which claims Intel has postponed their Alchemist GPUs, with the calls put on drivers. Well, in a new tweet from Not an Apple Fan, he mentions that the top-end Arc SKU is scoring nearly the same as AMD's 5700 XT in TimeSpy, and that's a far cry from a 3070 or 3070 Ti. Of course, it is a month old, but in a new video from Red Gaming Tech, he goes over some things he's heard from his sources. For one, while Intel's target for their high-end Alchemist GPU is actually an RTX 3070 Ti, the results that show this level of performance is only in synthetic benchmarks. Specifically, from other sources by Red Gaming Tech, Arc is performing around a 3060 Ti in actual games, possibly better in some, but that it quote, crashes a lot. Not only that, but it apparently does much better in newer APIs like DirectX 12 and Vulkan than it does in, say, DirectX 11. And this is where things get interesting. Red Gaming Tech was told that a hardware issue Intel is running into comes when they try to scale up and turn up their frequency. It apparently gets really hot really fast. And on the software side of things, they are apparently having issues with drivers. Ultimately, Intel's upcoming GPUs may not be as good as we originally hoped, but with the fact that it does well in synthetic benchmarks, it could just mean they have to work on drivers. Then again, TimeSpy is a synthetic benchmark. Hopefully Intel's done a lot since last month, but it's tough to say. Ultimately, I think price and availability will be a huge one. Luckily, Intel is hoping to bring millions of ARC GPUs, and Moore's Law is Dead recently claimed that they will have a ton of cards at launch, which is of course great news. Time, as always, will tell. Next up, if you've been following the channel, you know that Intel announced their 12th Gen KS CPU back at CES, similar to the 9900KS, which means higher clocks specifically up to a whopping 5.5 gigahertz. Well, it looks like we're getting our first look at the upcoming 12,900KS. In a new tweet from resident leaker Momomo underscore US, you can see that he mentions the 5.5 gigahertz, but also that the base power is set to be 150 watts, which is 25 watts higher than the 12,900K. To make matters worse, he shared a listing that shows the CPU at a whopping $780 and $790 US. 
Of course, early listings are almost always inflated, but that seems to make him think somewhere around 750 bucks. And that would definitely be a pretty huge jump from the around $600 of the 12,900K. And of course, with much higher power draw, the 12,900KS is set to be a pretty big power hog. Remember that 150 watts is just the base power draw. Of course, 5.5 gigahertz is impressive. It just may take a nuclear power plant to keep it fed. And lastly for today, I have some great news. If you remember, late last month, I went over this 3dcenter.org graph, which finally showed the GPU prices are beginning to trend down. Well, in their newest pricing chart for February, we can see that the trend continues, yet this time it's flat taking a nosedive in the best way possible. As you can see, both Nvidia and AMD's GPUs have dropped in price by a significant margin over last month. And I will say that I was a bit worried, given crypto seems to be going back up. Now, it's not at last year's highs, but it definitely does seem to be recovering. But maybe, just maybe, the crypto crash isn't the cause of this dip. I'm hoping it's because supply is finally going up due to AMD and Nvidia being able to raise production, instead of just demand slipping. Of course, while this is great news, it's still far above MSRP, but it's at least a start. And sure, 3D Center is in Germany, but it should give us a good indication for other countries as well. In fact, if we go to eBay, we can see that AMD 6800 XT is mostly trending below $1,000. And yes, that's far above MSRP, but it's been way over that before. Tom's Hardware actually found that prices were dropping at the beginning of the month. All in all, there's still a long way to go, but it's finally moving in the right direction. So while that does it for today, are you excited for prices finally coming down? And what do you think about Intel's upcoming CPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.